Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Deshaun King, and today we're gonna to be doing my shower routine. Now, this isn't something that I do every single day, but this is definitely something that I like doing when I have a little bit of some extra time to get the full experience in the shower. If you guys are interested in that, just continue watching, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe. So, first off, I'm walking into the bathroom, and I like turning on my water for it to be like, damn near scorching hot <laughs> i know that's not a good thing but i just like having really warm showers and the first product that we're gonna go in with is the skin fix resurface and glycolic renewing scrub now this is a new product that i incorporate into my shower routine this isn't something that i have been using but i like using this now i tried it out on like some small areas on my body like my elbows my knees like particularly rough areas on my body to see just how exfoliating it is. Now this is a pre-shower cleanse. So this is something that you put on before you actually get wet in the shower. So this is an alpha hydroxy acid body scrub that will eat away at the dead skin cells on your body. Now I tried this out on some areas of concern like my elbows, my knees, and like behind like my shoulder blades. Those are areas that I tend to either get rough or discolored in those areas. So I made sure that I applied that all over. This product is actually really exfoliating. You can actually feel the product work its way deeply into your skin. It isn't abrasive. That's what I really like about it. It's soft enough just so that your skin doesn't get irritated from it. This product actually feels very good on the back. So if you're someone that struggles with back knee, I would highly suggest that you try out this product because I feel like it would be really beneficial. The next product that we're gonna use is the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Body Scrub. This is one of my favorite products ever. I love the smell of this. It smells just like the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream from the Sol de Janeiro line. I actually am gonna be incorporating that into this video as well. So I actually just bought a brand new fresh bottle and I'm gonna use that on my legs because I'm actually gonna shave. Tip for everyone, if you don't know, you should be exfoliating before you shave. Man, woman, you should always exfoliate whatever area that you're about to shave because it makes the hair fall a bit more softer and it prevents ingrown hairs so I'm gonna apply that all over my skinny legs <laughs> I know they're skinny I'm gonna work on that y'all but um, I'm gonna apply that all over my legs and it just smells so good it smells very warm like almost kind of like vanilla bean but not quite it has like a special bean that's native to Brazil and it's very hard to find so it has a very distinct smell so when you smell this you're not smelling like you know any other product so you may notice that my skin is turning a little bit Bit red and that's probably because I'm applying this on a dry body still I still have not wet my body now you should be dry exfoliating one of my wax estheticians told me a trick you're supposed to actually exfoliate on a dry body because it allows your body scrub to actually work its way into the skin because think about it when you actually put body scrubs on wet skin you're not actually allowing the product to work its way deeply down into the dermis so that it can exfoliate and eat away at those dead skin cells so I find that when I dry exfoliate my skin is actually a whole lot softer than when I exfoliate on wet skin I'm putting that all under my underarms too because I'm also gonna be shaving underneath my arms anywhere that you shave you should always exfoliate first next we're gonna use the Dove Shea Butter Body Wash this is the only kind of body wash that I use I cannot use any other body wash Dove is the only thing I use because my skin is sensitive to a lot of other body washes and it makes my skin dry if I use anything else I'm also going to use this exfoliating towel that I got from Bed Bath Beyond but you can also get this from Target as well I just love how this suds up so quickly it makes you not have to use that much product I love how this feels on my body too because it scrubs without me having to like be as firm and hard on my body like you can gently glide across your body and you just feel like squeaky clean afterwards so I'm gonna apply this all over even though an exfoliating towel is a lot to work with like that is a lot of cloth that I have in my hands so sometimes it can be a little overwhelming it still is so much worth it I feel like I get done with my shower a whole lot quicker this is also the perfect tool to use after using body scrubs and the glycolic scrub because it makes your skin extra 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 soft also if you don't wash behind your ears I'm judging you <laughs> I always make sure that I wash behind my ears. Also, if you haven't peeped already, I'm extremely flexible. Like I'm able to reach far back to my back. I actually have scoliosis. Like my curve is like 15 degrees. So I don't know, I can just get into certain areas that most people can't get to when they're taking a shower. So I don't know, I feel like that's a flex low key. 
Also, fun fact about me, I take really long showers. Like my showers are probably about 20, 25 minutes all the time. Even when I don't do this full routine, doing this full routine actually takes me like a really long time. That's why I don't really do it all the time like that. Only if I have the extra time to really treat myself. And the next product that we're gonna use is the Native Almond and Shea Butter Hair Mask. And then following that, we're gonna use the Five Blade Razor from Harry's. Now, here's a twist. I'm actually gonna be using the hair mask as like a shaving cream because I, I ran out of my sensitive shaving cream from Gillette, but this is actually a pretty good alternative. It doesn't make my skin feel irritated and it doesn't cause me ingrowns. So I'm gonna apply that underneath my arms and I'm also gonna use it on my legs, but I don't show that in the video. After my shower, I put on this really comfortable robe that I found from Target. It reminds me of something from Skims, but obviously cheaper. So I'll make sure I'll link that below for you guys to check out. And then I start on my skincare routine. If you have not seen that video, I'll make sure I'll link that below as well and in a card in the video so you guys can watch. I prefer to do my skincare routine after I get out the shower because I feel like the steam from the shower opens up my pores more. And then the next product that we're gonna use is the Key Soul Care Be Luminous Exfoliator. I, again, am exfoliating before I shave my facial hair. This is one of my favorite exfoliators so far that I've tried this year. It's gentle, but it's not too gentle. It's just abrasive enough so that it exfoliates those particular areas of concern so I don't get ingrowns when I do shave those areas. And then after I wash that off, I put on the Key Soul Care Cleanser and I use that as like a way to shave my facial hair. I don't actually put shaving cream on my face. I find that the Golden Cleanser is just soft enough for me to use as a shaving product because it actually makes my skin feel very soft. And before I shave underneath my jaw, I make sure that I pluck really, really coarse hairs. Like I observe my skin and I tweeze out the hair that I know if I don't tweeze it out, it could turn into an ingrown. My facial hair can be really, really curly and coarse. So I make sure that I do this step before I even touch my face. And when I shave my face, I do shave against the grain. I know that's against the rules for most people, but for me at least, I don't usually have issues going against the grain when I shave because I like a really close shave and I like looking clean. <laughs> When I shave, I probably shave my face maybe once a week or once every one and a half weeks. And I shave my legs probably once every two to two and a half weeks. I used to shave like once a week, but sometimes if I'm not really going anywhere, I don't really feel the need to. <laughs> And then the next product that we're gonna use is the Ren Skincare Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. This product has alpha hydroxy acids and it is really good at exfoliating and getting rid of dead skin cells. This is a great aftershave product for me because it cleans deeply into the pores and it gets a lot of dirt and oil off. It makes your skin feel very tingly and when you feel that sensation, it is actually cell turnover occurring on your skin, making sure that new skin cells are being rolled over and being brought to the surface surface you see all that dirt that comes off ew disgusting <laughs> And then going into my bedroom, we're gonna start with my body care. I'm gonna use the Hemp's Koya and Sweet Almond Lotion. This was a product that was recommended by a friend of mine and I've never really gotten into hemp lotions, but this was the first one that I've tried and I love it. It smells very warm. I don't like fruity scents, so it gives me very much like fall, very much almost kind of like a really nice fall candle. It just smells really good and you can smell it all day. So I'm gonna apply that all over my legs. As you can see, I do have stretch marks on my knees. Now, now that is a very weird thing. I've always had them ever since my growth spurt when I was really, really little, and they just never seem to go away. But I'll show you guys how I take care of that and manage that. So I'm applying that lotion all over my body, all on my arms. And then the next product after that, we're gonna use the Palmer's Cocoa Butter. And this is what I use to kind of, you know, manage my stretch marks on my knees and also on my sides. Sometimes if I'm feeling up to it, I'll use bio oil on my knees and on my sides where my stretch marks are. But for today's video, I didn't really feel like incorporating bio oil because I've used a lot of other hydrating products. 
Next, we're gonna use the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. This is what I was talking about earlier when I was using the scrub. It smells just like the scrub and it smells so, so good. The smell lasts all day. I also have the body spray for it too because I just really love the smell of this product. It smells very sensual. In my opinion, I feel like this product is good for you know both men and women. I don't particularly gravitate towards most of the for men products because in my opinion, I feel like the ingredients are just the same as the women products, just drowned in cologne and I don't like that. And then we're also gonna use the native coconut and vanilla deodorant. This is natural deodorant and I know some people are skeptical of natural deodorant, but this is the only natural deodorant that I've ever tried that literally lasts like pretty much all day. And that concludes my shower routine, guys. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on my post notifications to be notified of all my future videos. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.